Hello Survivors and welcome to Survivor Segments. Today we are taking a look at the segment 103198 from the horror anthology VHS. 103198 was written and directed in stars Radio Silence, Matt Bettinelli Olpen, Tyler Gillett, Chad Valella, and occasionally Justin Martinez, and also stars Paul Natanek and Nicole Erb. We open up to a group of dudes filming a barbecue with their new VHS camera before we cut to Halloween night and Tyler who is dressed as a nanny cam for Halloween. That's a damn good costume. He he leaves his apartment and gets in the car with his friends to go to the Halloween party, where we meet Chad dressed as the Unabomber, Paul dressed as the soldier, and Matt dressed as a pirate. They arrive at the house and head around back to find a way in, while questioning where everyone is. They find their way into the house, expecting some sort of haunted house party, but can't find anyone. But as they search, they discover some weird stuff when Tyler gets jump scared and the other three run into the room laughing about people reaching through the walls. What? Oh what, 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 They hear someone talking in the floors above them and they head up the stairs. They search around upstairs, Tyler catching creepy stuff on his camera as they investigate. A lot of the scary stuff in the segment is super subtle, such as chairs changing position in between scenes and items showing up where they weren't, making this segment easily one of my favorite in the anthology. It's just a ton of fun. They eventually find their way into the attic, where all the noise is coming from, where they find some sort of amateur exercise in progress, but when they chime in thinking it to be a show. Cast him down! Cast him down! The lady begins crying out for help and the men tell them to leave. The camera begins glitching out and the dudes start doing this. I don't know where exactly these two go, but it can't be anywhere good. So we'll call it the meat bank, landing these two dudes at deposits one and two. The group hightails it downstairs, but before they leave, they decide that they must try to rescue the girl. So they double back to the attic. They fight off the exercisers, with this dude also flying into the meat bank at deposit number three. And they cut her loose and start carrying her out. And they leave this dude when arms start coming out of the floors. All sorts of hell starts breaking loose as they try to leave, with objects flying and the house changing and filling with smoke. Guys, come on! They eventually head to the cellar and they find a way out. All while chaos erupts behind them. They eventually make their way out and Chad brings the car around. They load into their vehicle and begin their trek to the nearest hospital since the girl has been stabbed. The car starts malfunctioning as does the camera, and as does the girl when she disappears from the car. Where'd she go? What the? What the f she pops up outside the vehicle and begins walking away. The group then realize that they are on railroad tracks and the train is approaching. They fight to get out of the vehicle but are locked in and can't open the doors. And the camera glitches out moments before the train deposits Tyler, Paul, Chad, and Matt into the meat bank at deposits 4, 5, 6, and 7. And the segment ends. So now, for your survival stats. We've got deposits 1 through 3 when these dudes get pulled into the abyss and then the four friends make deposits 4 through 7. And we're totally gonna ignore the alternate ending. Now let's take a look at our survivor. We've got the lady assuming that she is even alive to begin with, which means that you have a 12.5% chance of surviving this segment. Given those odds, how quickly would you have gotten the hell out of that house? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty guys, until next time, thanks and don't die.